Hey everyone, so I produce a lot of content on my channel, daily content, weekly content, podcasts, live streams, and I always gotta pick and choose what am I gonna cover today? What is the story that catches my eye? And then every now and then Nintendo does something that surprises me and updates things like the Nintendo Switch Online. Now, when I heard about this today, I just thought, okay, cool, let me fire up my Switch and see what changed, and it turns out, Nothing, at least nothing on here. Sure, we have the My Nintendo sort of achievement system brought over. I don't really know. Calling them achievements seems kind of weak, but they updated that and added that stuff. And but that, that story is something we already covered. We already know that you know there's a way to earn like platinum points locally on your system and buy icons. And okay, that's cool. It's better than not having it. Um, it's still hidden in that sub menu that you know unless they you know you follow YouTube channels like me or read news articles about it. You might not even know they added it in if you don't regularly use the NSO section of the app, Nintendo Switch Online, but there's more and we get to talk about it. And it involves your phone. Yeah, Nintendo Switch Online's been updated and it has to do with this. Now, before I tell you what's going on, I wanna remind you, we do have a giveaway going on right now for Nintendo Switch OLED, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X. To enter, head down to that gleam.io link down in the description, uh, and I wish all of you guys luck. Also, I gotta let you know that this upcoming week here uh, is Mario 10 week, and we have sales going on right now, and we have partnered with Best Buy. So, a bunch of Mario games are on sale right now for $20 off. If you use our affiliate links down in the description to buy those games, I get a 22% kickback from those sales. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Best Buy because they have decided to additionally offer four games this week that we're going to be giving away throughout the week during our live streams, including one of those games, possibly on the Nintendo Prime podcast this week. So stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, get some great games for cheap sales and let's get into what happens. So I'm going to get my phone open here and just read off the exact update here. I'm getting this off nintendoeverything.com and it says Nintendo has just released a new 2.0 update for the Nintendo Switch Online app. That's right. I told you it had to do with the phone, but also the Nintendo Switch Online. So it has a new design and the ability to see which friends are online and more. Ooh. The full patch notes for the Nintendo Switch Online app version are as follows. The app's overall design has been updated. Yay. Thank you, Nintendo. Maybe you gave us a design that doesn't suck ass. Bleh. Ding, ding! <laughs> um, you can change your online status settings. Oh, man. You can see which of your friends are now online. Okay. Can we message them? No, no, okay. You can view your friend code. Okay, so now I can copy my friend code quite easily and share it on Discord. Okay, I guess that's a neat feature. Other minor changes have also been implemented. The Nintendo Switch Online app has been around for a few years and it lets you voice chat. Just a few days ago, they updated it to spend my Nintendo points on user icons. So look, I opened the app, right? You guys aren't gonna see this in live because I've I'm just an idiot and don't know how to record my phone, but I'll show up some screenshots so you guys see what this looks like. And um, yeah, it is a completely new design. There's still uh, only three games that um, have voice chat options. So that's cool. Um, that's really, you know, Animal Crossing. Oh, wait, wait, game specific items, I guess. Animal Crossing, Smash Bros, and... Uh, and Splatoon 2, I guess, are the ones coming out game specific services. But what's obviously more interesting is that now when I see the friends are online, I could tap on someone, you know, like this person here. And uh, yeah, uh, I can see what they're playing right now. This person in particular is playing the Triangle Strategy Prologue demo, and they first played it one day ago. Let's find someone who's been playing something that's a bit older than that. This person um, who uh, is playing Dying Light Platinum Edition uh, has been playing for five hours. So it's basically going to show me what you have been playing and, and like how many hours you spent playing it and that's what you're playing right now. Uh, and then anyone that's like recently offline, it's just gonna tell you when they went offline. Of course, none of this lets you actually message people, set up play dates and set up groups. There's really no point to this other than just spying on your friends when you're, you're not on your Switch or not connected online on the go. Uh, so again, it's one of those weird updates where it's just much to do about nothing. I mean, the new design looks nice, I guess. You know, if we click on settings here, um, you know, we have alert, some alert settings now. 
Um, display online status, they said that was new. So I can display my online status to all friends, best friends, or no one, which again, you can already set that on your Switch. Um, yeah, there's things about sending data back to Nintendo. Uh, and then there's the friend code to copy. So I don't know what other things they added in. I'm not really seeing much. I guess maybe the fact they didn't mention that you could specifically see what game your friends are playing. Uh, I guess that would be other things. But this is one of those updates that I don't understand. It's almost half-baked, right? Nintendo is giving us the ability to now see who's online and offline, see what game they're playing right now, but we still can't actually directly message them about it. Like if I, if I click on someone and I see, oh, this person's playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, well, I wanna message them and ask them if they wanna trade some Pokemon. I, I, uh, crap. Do I have this person on my Discord? How, huh? Like, I, I, I still can't message it. Hold on, do, do I know them in real life? Like, I, who's this person? Oh, they're also playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. Who's this? Also, lots of people on my friends list are playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. The point is, look, it, 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 it's sort of a useless feature. It just, now I can creep on my friends, but I still can't talk to them. So what's it matter? And that's what I don't understand about Nintendo Switch Online. If you guys remember, this app was supposed to have an extremely cool feature that Reggie fils teased well, you know, over five years, well, really about five years ago at this point. You know what that feature was? Not only would we be able to message our friends, we would actually be able to set up future play dates, create groups through the app to invite our friends into for play sessions later. So I can be like, hey, look, we're gonna do some Splatoon 2 tonight for our live stream. You know what I can do? All of our patrons that are friends with me on here, all of our members that are friends with me on here, I can automatically invite them all into a group to play Splatoon 2 tonight. That's cool. So I get a list of people who are gonna play. I know who's gonna be there. I know if we have to let the public in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I can set it all up ahead of time, except no, I can't because that feature never got added. In fact, we can't message people, let alone group video, you know, voice chat people, unless we're in specific games, and we gotta go through the game, you gotta, gotta bounce back and forth between the game and the app, the game and the app. It's ridiculous, and that's not even, including the ridiculous setups out there for wired connections, if you wanna have your game audio and the voice chat in the same headset. Like, there's a <laughs> crazy dongles for that and everything. Now, I know it's got a bit easier because you can like wire one and Bluetooth the other. Even then, it's, it's all stupid. Um, Nintendo Switch Online is has, has the bones, the skeleton to be something much more than it really is. Unfortunately, that's all it really is. It's a skeleton, it's the bones, and they just keep adding like another bone. Like, oh man, now you added a new finger but then you didn't make it able to bend. So what was the point of adding that finger? It, you know, it, it, it's like adding a, a toe, but then not giving me the ability to move them and walk. You know, give me the joints. Like it, Nintendo is extremely strange when it comes to the Nintendo Switch online. And that's why I said, this is kind of a half-baked update. It's like this half step that gives you something that's almost useful, but then really isn't. Sure, now I can like check what my friends are doing while I'm not online and just have my phone. Okay, and what can I do about that exactly? Absolutely nothing. You know, absolutely nothing. Maybe I'd be better off eating ice cream. That actually sounds kind of good. I'm a, okay. You know what? I'm gonna go make myself a nice, delicious, fat-free ice cream cone. I know, man, it's not really. Ah, delicious, isn't it? Damn it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go just drink a glass of ice cold water and I'm gonna put some sugar in it and make it. Oh, that's cool, eh? That's not good for you either. God damn it! Fine. I'm just gonna go eat a celery stick, okay? Okay? <sighs> this health stuff sucks ass. Catch you guys in the next video. Hey, give me your thoughts on this down below. Half-bake update, really weird. Bye.